Hello everyone, Julia here, hello from Sweden and welcome to a new video and in today's video I want to show you my collection of uh, fountain pens. I asked uh, on my Instagram page if it would be interesting to see my collection of fountain pens and many people answered that yes. Uh, so I decided to make a video like this show you all my fountain pens that I use and I would like to mention that I am a total beginner in this. I am using fountain pens for a bit more than a year and before that I used fountain pens as a teenager maybe for a little while but like just some kind of cheap, not really good fountain pens uh, because it was really difficult to find them in Ukraine where I lived back then. So I didn't have almost any experience with fountain pens until last year. Last year I kind of discovered fountain pens for myself and started to use them and big love to fountain pens. Uh, actually started only about like half a year maybe that's that was the point when I noticed that I really love to use fountain pens and that I mostly use fountain pens for uh, for my journaling and like almost all writing that that I do letters journaling some kind of notes and stuff like that and it was when I decided that I also want to collect fountain pens, like to have different ones, maybe not too many, but to have uh, at least a few different ones and try different brands and different inks. So I'm really a beginner in this and uh, my collection of fountain pens grew bigger in the last few months. Uh, that's when I got uh, quite a few new pens from different brands to try out. So now I will show you all the pens that I have and also we will open a new pen in the end. This one arrived just yesterday and I haven't opened it yet and I'm really curious and this one is uh, like kind of a special pen. Um, so we will open this in the end of this video but first i want to show you the pens that i already use for a while also only just a few days ago i got this pen case from galen leather finally i have a proper home for my fountain pens and this nice beautiful leather pen case because uh, until a few days ago my pens were just all over the place everywhere on my desk and I didn't have any proper storage for them so finally I got this beautiful case and it's it holds 10 pens so I think I will start from this side so I will start from this side and here I have three Lamy pens all three are Lamy Safari and this one is savanna color well i think this was a special edition pen for last year and this one is in f nib and it's actually inked with quite a similar color like like the pen itself it's a dark green color and the color is called evergreen from diamine or diamine i don't know how exactly to pronounce it so this one is kind of like a basic, more or less, beginner's pen and I'm using this for a few months, I guess. And uh, this one is actually my favorite uh, from this three. Uh, they are kind of similar, but somehow uh, this one works the best with for me. Uh, maybe it's a combination of pen and ink that I currently have in it or I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I like that one the best. Uh, this one is uh, Lamy Safari in cream color. That's also a special edition. I think it's a special edition from uh, this year, from 2022, I guess. And this one is an extra fine nib EF. This one is kind of not bad, but this EF nib is already a bit too thin for me. I noticed that I like more M nibs, medium size. M is my favorite, but I also use F nibs uh, 
quite a bit, but EF is already a bit too too small for me. So this one is not bad, definitely, but not my favorite. And this one is also in, in F nib, I think. This one is also an F nib. And uh, this one is uh, Lamy Safari Mango color, also a special edition pen of last year, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, they all are pretty similar. And I think one of these pens I will give to my husband, because he also wants to uh, try fountain pens. Uh, so I think one of them I will give to my husband to uh, try them out and I noticed that I definitely don't need three Lamy pens. I bought this two were with a really big discount so that's why I bought them like kind of to try out um, different nib sizes like F and EF uh, and yeah EF is not really my thing as it turned out. Uh, then I have two Parker pens. This one is uh, this one is Parker uh, Vector XL Green, I think it's called. And this one is also um, F nib. And I really like this one. This one kind of similar price category as the Slummy pens, maybe a little bit more expensive, but I like this one way more. Uh, first of all, the feeling of this pen, it's heavier uh, than Lamy. These are plastic pens and these are very, very light. So if you like light pens, then it's definitely something for you. But I prefer fountain pens uh, that have some weight, that are heavier. I enjoy more to write with uh, heavier and bigger pens. So this one definitely feels better. For me personally, then the Slummy pens, it's it's heavier, it has some weight, it's it's not really heavy, but still compared to this pants, uh, this one definitely has some weight and feels really nice and it's also very smooth and thin and writes really well. I really like the nib. It's really nice and smooth and I really like the writing experience with this particular pen. It's very enjoyable and this one is also Parker and this, and this one is called I am black and gold and this one is a bit more expensive it's something like 50 euros something like around 50 dollars 50 euros something like that and this one has a bit different nib than the uh, previous one it's wider and and bigger and this one I actually like even more uh, this one writes smoother and it's an M nib and I like M nibs more so maybe that's why I like this one more. And it's also not really heavy but it definitely has some weight and a really nice nice feeling also very uh, smooth and uh, this one is a bit thicker than uh, the previous one but still it's a very nice nice pen to right with and when you put the cap on on this pen it's somehow it's really such a satisfying feeling like this very soft click it kind of has a bit of resistance first you have to push a little bit and then it clicks and i don't know somehow it's really super satisfying to put the cap on <laughs> on this pen and i use all these pens for about the same time I got them, like around the same time, I guess, some a little bit earlier, some a bit later, but I used them for about the same time, like a few months, maybe two to three months. And I like all of them, but I like these two Parker pens more uh, because because of the design and because they feel heavier and uh, I don't know, somehow it's more satisfying to write with uh, this too. Uh, this Lamy pens are also nice, especially I especially like this one. Uh, but yeah, I don't really like that it's so light and it's like kind of piece of plastic and it's, it's very, very light and um, I don't know. And also this one with an extra fine nib turned out to be not really my thing, so maybe 
sometime later maybe I will give this pen to someone else. Maybe we'll sell it for a bit cheaper price or I don't know, I will see. Maybe we'll exchange it for something else. But like from this Lamy pants, I'm definitely going to keep this one because this one I really like. And the Sparker pants, both I like very much. And as I said, I'm a total beginner and I don't know all those specific terms and stuff like that. So I think I can't tell you much, very much in detail about every pen, like all all the special characteristics and stuff like that because I just don't know much about that yet. I am still learning and I just can tell you my personal experience with this pants, like what I like and what I don't like. And now I will show you uh, the pants that I have on this side. And first one here is uh, Twispy Eco uh, Clear pen. And this one is in ink with a black ink and this one is like my daily writer. I use this pen a lot for my bullet journal, for making notes, basically for everything. And this one is an F nib and I really like this particular F nib. It's thin but not too thin and but it's really good for bullet journal for example. And yeah, for different kinds of notes and I like also I like the design of this pen, this clear pen design, like demonstrator pen where you can see the ink inside. Okay, now I, I have a black ink inside, so actually it's kind of not that exciting. It's it looks better when you have a colorful ink inside, then it looks more interesting. Uh, but Anyway, I really like this pen. It's very reliable. It's, it writes really well, very smooth. Never had any problems with this pen. And also uh, this ink barrel is really huge and it holds a lot of ink compared to those other pens. All these pens, except this one, I think I use with a converter because I'm not a very big fan of cartridges. So all these pens have converters inside except this one. Uh, because I just don't have uh, another Lamy converter at the moment. So yeah, and the uh, converters are always smaller than cartridges. And this pens hold way less ink than this one here. It's it, This ink barrel is really huge. And it's a piston filler pen. So you just twist this part here and just ink it up like this. You don't need a... Uh, cartridge or converter for this pen um, and yeah it's a really very good and reliable pen and that's something that I definitely can recommend for daily use uh, if you write a lot uh, if you need a reliable daily writer then I think Twispy is one of those brands that are very famous for affordable pens and, and very good quality yeah, as I said, I really like the, that it holds very much of ink. And this one is also a plastic pen, but compared to Lamy, this one is also quite, has quite some weight. It's not heavy, but it's also not super light. It has some nice weight and nice feeling. Feels very nice when you write with it. And then I have here this two Estabrook pens and these were actually my two first fountain pens. I started not like most people start like from kind of cheaper beginners pens and then slowly move to more expensive pens. I started from the kind of expensive pens and these two pens were kindly sent to me by Estabrook company. They contacted me on Instagram a while ago and asked if I would like to get one of their pens and show them on my Instagram page. And uh, it was interesting for me to try fountain pens because as I said, at that point, I almost never had any experience with fountain pens. So it was really interesting for me to try. And I got first this one. This was my first fountain pen. This is Estabrook Honeycomb ST with an M nib. And it's a gold nib. Um, all those other nibs, those are steel nibs. And this one is a gold nib. And um, there is actually some 
difference. Gold nibs usually are more smooth than steel nibs and with these two pens I actually can feel the difference. This, these two, both of them are really super smooth and like they write like a buttery smooth just glide over the paper and really very very enjoyable experience to write with these pens. So this is an M nib and this was my first fountain pen and this one was second. I got this, this one then a bit later and uh, at the moment I really don't get any new pens from them uh, but I'm really grateful for this two that they sent me and gave me an opportunity to try fountain pens and uh, thanks to that I actually fall in love with fountain pens and with writing with fountain pens and even started to write more again. Uh, this one is also an M nib and it's uh, Estabrook uh, Scarlet ST and it's inked with Scarlet ink also from Estabrook and uh, the combination of this pen and ink is really just amazing and it's one of my favorite pens especially in combination with this uh, with the scarlet ink and it's really nice red festive ink and at the moment i use it a lot in my december daily journal and i use this pen all year long and it's one of my favorite pens ever i think actually this one is my my favorite pen. I like both of them but somehow this one probably because of the combination of pen and ink this one is even better than, than this but both of them are great and they are pretty similar and they and this are made of raisin and they look really 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 beautiful it's just nice to look at all these small details and uh, they're quite heavy like not super heavy but definitely have some weight and that's also something that I really like about them. Uh, then I also have here uh, Kaveco Sport uh, in red and I also bought this golden clip for it and this one is also an M nib and now it's ink with uh, Ferris wheel press ink. Uh, I think it's called Wondrous uh, Winterberry and it's really nice kind of reddish shimmering ink. Also very festive and I really like combination of the pen and that ink. And this is like a pocket pen. It's tiny and very light but um, actually also has some weight. It's not super light and especially with this clip here and it feels really nice too right with this pen and it's very compact and it's nice to take it with you when you are traveling for example you always can just throw in this pen uh, in your bag and yeah it's a, also a plastic pen but um, somehow it feels for me also much better than for example this very light Lamy pens and I have uh, another Kaweco pen in this beautiful tin and this one is also Kaweco Sport, but this is a brass pen. And this one is actually quite heavy compared to this one because it's made of brass. And I really like brass stationery, brass things. I think it's really beautiful and yeah, I really like to see all those scratches and how it's slowly aging. And I like that this pen is quite heavy. It's it's not really comfortable to write with this pen for a very long time. So for example, if I need to write a long letter, I rather wouldn't use this one because it's quite heavy. Uh, but still, I really like this pen. It's very, very beautiful pen and it's also an M nib. It's inked with Ferris Wheel Press ink, same as uh, this one, but ink is called uh, Twinkling Tea Party and that's uh, dark green shimmering ink, also really fun, very festive. So these two pens are really festive and I use them now very often in my December daily journal. I really like how those uh, shimmering ink inks uh, look. Yeah, so this is 
my two Kaweco pens and I think I can keep both of them in this box. So maybe I will move this one here too. So I have here then space for two more pens so I can put inside my new one. So let's open this new pen that I got yesterday. I haven't opened it yet. I just picked inside a little bit but haven't opened it yet properly and I'm really excited about this one. This is my first Sailor pen, Japanese brand. And this is a special edition pen. It's a Sailor Pro Gear Slim pen, a seasonal festivals edition. I will put a picture somewhere, somewhere here of this special edition pens. I think there were like five or six pens in this edition and I will uh, write down somewhere here a name of this pen, like a full name of this because I just can't pronounce it. It's, it's really long and it's like a gift set, set uh, that comes also with an ink. Uh, ink is called Shikiori and it's a beautiful orange ink. I think it will be really perfect autumn ink, so I'm really looking forward to try this. Also comes with converter and now let's open the pen. As I said, I haven't opened it yet and haven't tried it yet. I'm really looking forward to try it. I never had a Japanese pen yet and it's, it's kind of weird probably that for my first Japanese pen and first sailor pen I chose one of the expensive pens. Uh, this one is a, a golden nib. It's 14, uh, 14k gold uh, and it's an uh, MF nib, medium fine. Yeah, it looks, looks really beautiful. I love the color. It's definitely my color and it also has some, some sparkles. I don't know if you can see it. Also has this gold details and looks really nice and also feels really, really nice. It's one of the smaller pants. So uh, unposted, it's a bit too small for me, but when it's posted, it's a really nice, good size. I don't have very big hands. So for me, it's a really good size and also has some weight. It's not heavy, but also not super light. So in general, my first impression is very good and I will try it out today. I think I will ink it up actually with this ink that it comes with or maybe something else. I don't know. I'm not sure yet, but all in all, the first impression, impression is really nice. It's a really beautiful pen. I really love how it looks and really love all this sparkles. I think it's really nice autumn color. I really like autumn, so I think probably it will be one of my favorite pens in autumn. Um, and actually for Christmas time it's also perfect because it looks very festive and really nice. So yeah, I'm looking forward to try out this pen and that's then another addition to, to my small but growing fountain pen collection and I also want to mention that I'm not going to get many new pens anytime soon. I think I already have like kind of a nice basic set of pens. It's enough for, for my daily use and now I would like to concentrate more rather on quality than on quantity and if I buy a new pen then it should be something really special. And I still would like to try a few different brands, something new, something that I never tried, like for example Pilot, also a very famous Japanese brand, and I have an idea which pen I would like to get from Pilot, but that's also one of the expensive pens. So I'm rather going to concentrate on quality and I decided that better I will get one pen in half a year or in a year or like maybe two pens, two new fountain pens a year. But it should be something really, really special. And I don't think that I will buy anytime soon some pens like this, like this kind of more or less basic fountain pens, because I have enough of those and now I rather would prefer to explore more special fountain pen. I already have a kind of like a wish list of fountain pens that I still would like to uh, get and 
to have in my collection. It's actually not very big wish list. Uh, it's, I think, maybe five or six pens at the moment. Uh, so it's not very many, but uh, but all those pens are uh, somewhat of her special editions. Uh, and I'm not going to buy all of them at once, definitely. And I, I want to do my research and uh, maybe watch a few, watch or read a few reviews about those pens and decide then if I really want to have them, then to get them sometime. So yeah, I think from now on, maybe I will get a two, maybe maximum three fountain pens a year. At least that's my plan. I don't know how it will go. Maybe I will end up in the end of the next year with 40 fountain pens instead of 10 that I have now. Now I have 10 fountain pens here. I have nine and, oh no, 11. Now I have 11 fountain pens. Nine here and also this two Kaweco pens. So yeah, maybe in the end of the next year I will end up with 40 pens with like, I don't know, 10 more Lamy pens or something like that. But I'm not planning to do that. Plan for the next year to buy maybe two or three new fountain pens, but like really special ones. Uh, some of those that are on my wish list now, maybe something new also will appear. And I think in the end of the next year, I will make another video like this with my fountain pen collection. And it will be really interesting to compare and to see if I st still have all these pens or if I exchanged them for something else and how many new pens I got. I think that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you in my next videos.